Welcome to New York City. Yeah. This season on Ink Master, we have Turf War, four regions of the country. I personally can't wait to watch this thing unfold. We're gonna have the Midwest, the South, the East and the West. Pride is a primal instinct. We've seen it since the beginning of time. People have always battled to keep their space safe and sacred, and this is gonna be no different. Slicing the pie up a little bit more is gonna make the battle for the top that much harder. East Coast. Daddy's home. And there's a lot of different great styles and a lot of great artists from everywhere in the country. I am proud to represent Asheville, North Carolina, because it's a small town. It's a very artistic, very weird, fun place to be, and to bring that title back and say one of our locals won the title of Ink Master would be huge. The tattoo history is so rich in California. Everybody wants to be in LA, which is why it's so damn packed full of people and traffic. They hate us because they ain't us. The Midwest is a thriving part of the industry because we're producing some of the best tattoos. Tattoo culture in Denver is a melting pot of all kinds of different art and the fact that we're getting a lot more popularity at the Midwest is gonna be the next mecca of tattoos. Turf War is East versus everybody else. Where I live in Baltimore, so many drug dealers. I didn't want to be the next what the hood presents, so tattooing was the best thing to turn to. When I started tattooing, it was just like a hobby and I was teaching myself, destroying my family. My first tattoo, I did it on my sister. <laughs> we had to fix it a couple of years after that. When people look at me and they don't see a threat, I'm gonna take that to my advantage. The punch that knock you out is the one that you don't see coming. I'm here to put out good work, and I'm here to show people that the East Coast puts out good work. I think New Jersey has a whole lot of talented artists. I think we have so much to offer, and not enough people see that because we're so close to New York. Tattooing in America is competitive. Everybody's trying to get a piece of it, which is good because it pushes you as an artist to be better than everybody else. That's why Ink Master is important. I don't want to be stuck with just a region saying me. I want the world to see my work. I want the world to wear my work. I might be the least experienced, but I'm a fighter and I'm a survivor and I make things work. When I slay this competition, it's going to be a slap in everyone's face who doubted me. My impression of the judges is that they are sticklers to the fundamentals. Let your artwork speak for itself. You did a tattoo that's not technically solid. I 100% disagree. You can't. And that's your right. Scratchy and weak. All right, your opinion. Their opinions are the ones that count. And if you ain't got that, you're going home. My heart beat fast as hell, man. We're in a walk-in shop. You can go from new school to realism in a matter of minutes from one tattoo to the next. So you just have to learn how to be versatile. You have to learn how to get out of one mode and go into the next mode and just keep it moving. I feel great being here rapping the East Coast. I wish I did a formal apprenticeship, but I kind of just learned as I went. Being able to adapt and find a way to make it work is going to be a benefit for me in the competition. Chicago is massive and well represented by a lot of different groups of people that carries over into tattooing. You can find great artists of any kind or any technique in Chicago. When I met my other teammates, West Coast. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like, they all do realism, black and gray. I'm the only one that really does color here. I feel like that makes me stand out. Everybody else is either from California or Nevada, and you know, Portland has something to say about it. I've done a ton of hometown tattoos. Everybody loves Idaho. <laughs> Idaho is really well known for their potatoes. It's like, you're from Idaho, you must eat a lot of potatoes, yeah? If people hear Idaho and don't say potato, I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I went to school for a couple years to be a dentist. I decided that just wasn't for me, looking in people's mouths all day. It's a little bit parallel now. I still have a medical tray, overhead lights, and inflict a little bit of pain. I just like to think that uh, now people actually want to come to see me. I believe the artists from the South are the ones to be. We have like a, our own little swag. We have our own little style. We do a little bit of everything. We're all well-rounded, and everybody might just see my uh, realism portraits, but I grew up in a street shop, so I can do every style. Salem as a place represents something to a lot of people. A lot of people are looking for a tattoo that has a little bit of magic as part of it. I'm excited to be in a team of people that represent the energy of that area. I think that we're smart and we're feisty and we're strong-willed and I think that makes a winning team. Doing what you do at home is one thing, but knowing how to be in this competition is a struggle. Damn straight. Yeah, he's yeah. right. There's one returning artist on each team. Okay. Take right. advantage right. of the knowledge they have just from being in this competition before. Just getting used to this environment is the biggest learning curve that you need to tackle right off the bat. I got you guys. There's no way in how I'm going to let any member of my team fall. I want to see the East Coast all in the finale. I want to snowball the other competition.
I am here to fight. Everything that I learned in season 11 definitely made me a better tattoo and it groomed me for this. This is my time. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to win. I love the Midwest. It's where I come from. It's who I am. It's what's in me. My personal strategy here is going to be to kill them with kindness. You don't have to undercut somebody to prove that you're better than them. I was checking out the South team and Jason, their guy with the experience, I uh, just, you know, good luck. Hey, do me a favor. Yes. Help me with geography. We got east, yep. west, yep. south, yep. and mediocre. Mediocre, no. Are you trying to put it out on the map? Because I looked and I didn't see it. I'm pretty aggressive. Definitely have a sarcastic, aggressive personality. I like to be a predator in a competition. My plan this time is just to sit back and really pay attention to everybody. And then when it's my moment to attack, I'm definitely gonna attack. Everybody likes to think that in their area, they're the best. And so I'm gonna be here representing my turf to the best of my ability. I see you, Jason. You're smart. Yeah. I see you. My tattooing style to its core is very West Coast. I came up in a super West Coast shop. I'm extremely proud to represent the West because not only am I from California right now, but I'm originally from Hawaii. I'm as West as they get. I have a huge advantage this season because I know what's coming and I'm gonna be smart when I play the game, not gonna let anybody get in my head and make sure that I go all the way this time. You are on a team. You will have to work together. I play the other side, only one of you can win. Mm -hmm. Who's it gonna be? And the turf war starts right now. Good luck. Oh. Oh, let's go. Ink Master Turf War premieres Tuesday, January 7th at 10 on Paramount Network.